North Korea fire missile over Japan, prompting warnings for residents to shelter. North Korea has reportedly launched an intermediate range ballistic missile over northern Japan for the first time in five years, prompting the government to urge people to shelter from falling debris. In apparent escalations of recent weapon tests by Kim Jong un's regime, Japan's Kyodo News Agency said the government had actively its J Alert system on Tuesday morning for residents in the northmost main island of Hokkaido and the country's northeastern Elmarie. Prefecture's train service were temporary halt in the region, media reports said. North Korea appeared to have launched a missile. Please evacuate into buildings or underground, the alert read. The Prime Minister Fumio Kishida called North Korea's action outrageous and said the government would continue to gather and analyze information. The Defense Minister Yashukazu Hamada said Japan would examine all options, including counterattack capabilities, as it looked to strengthen its defenses in the face of repeat missile launches from the North Korea. South Korea President Yoon Suk Jol warned the Resolute's respond after the launch. The John Hub News Agency reported. Jun said the missile has flown about 4,000 kilometers, John Hub added. That range puts the U.S. Pacific territory of Guam within striking distance. The South Unification Ministry, which oversees cross border issue, said the North was unresponsive on the inter Korea hotline. Jun promised a stern response from South Korea and the international community to the North reckless nuclear provocation. While the South National Security Council said Pyongyang provocation would only strengthen security cooperation with the U.S., the South main ally. South Korea's Joint Chef of Staff said the projective appear have been an intermediate range ballistic missile launch from North Korea's Yanggang province. It was the first time the North has sent a missile over Japanese territory since 2017. TV Ashahi, citing an unnamed government source, said the missile has fallen in the sea 3,000 kilometers east of Japan at 7.44 a.m. local time after a 22-minute flight. North Korea's series of action, including its repeat ballistic missile launch, threatened the peace and security of Japan, the region and the international community, and posed a serious challenge to the entire international community, including Japan. Japan's top government spokesperson, Hirikazu Matsuno, said in brief news conference. The U.S. initial response was more measure. Daniel Crittenbrink, the top U.S. diplomat for East Asia, described the launch as unfortunate during an online event hosted by the Institute for Korean American Study. We urge North Korea to take a path of dialogue, commit to serious and sustained diplomacy, and refrain from further establishing activities, Crittenbrink said. Kyoto reported Japanese Defense Ministry sources as saying the missile has flown eastward over Japan Sea, known in Korea as the East Sea before flying over Japanese territory. There were no reports of injuries or damage to ships or aircraft. It was the seventh time North Korea had launched a missile over Japan, it added. Japan's government issued a swift rebuke, describing the launch as a threat to regional security. The latest launch is the fifth in 10 days, as the North ramp up its response to the recent resumptions of large-scale military exercises by U.S. and South Korean forces. The ally insists the drill are purely defensive, but Pyongyang condemn as a rehearsal for invasion. Tuesday tests also come a few days after the U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris made a high-profile visit to the heavily armed border separating the two Koreas. In September 2017, millions of residents in a dozen Japanese refractors were warned to take cover inside buildings or underground in chilling reminders that Japan is within easy striking distance of North Korean missile. A second alert confirmed that the missile, thought to be an intermediate range Hwangsong-12, has passed over without incidents and land in the Pacific 2,000 kilometers to the east.
Firing over or past Japan allows North Korea scientists to test missile under more realistic condition, said Ankit Panda of the U.S.-based Kangri Endowment for International Peace. Compared to the usually highly low tra trajectory, this allowed them to expose a long-range reentry vehicle, the thermal road, and atmospheric reentry stress that are most representative of the condition they'd endure in real-world use, he said. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.